Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to Mysterious Writings YouTube channel. This is the second of the Forest Fen Treasure Solutions series. This series shares thoughts and ideas for finding the Forest Fen Treasure sent in by searchers. The following features six questions with candy. Let's get to them. Question one, when did you first get involved in the chase? Candy answers, I started back in 2013, but back then I was uneducated when it came to the rules and hints about the chase, and I didn't know nearly as much as what I do now, nearly seven years later. Long story short, I saw an article on Facebook whilst drinking beer on St. Patrick's Day, and I decided I wanted to be the one to solve such a brilliant puzzle, and then my life was changed. Question two, how did you decide on a state? One day while I was at work, I dropped my Thrill of the Chase book, and as I began to bend over to pick it up, the idea just popped into my head. What if the answer to the poem had been staring at us all in the face? So from there I started writing down the book title and got some interesting anagrams, but it wasn't until I used the entire title that I got my answer. The Fire Hall Halts at Home. Well, we all know the story about river bathing is best, and that is located in Yellowstone National Park. So the message told me to start my quest in Wyoming. I made an entire video on this topic called Aberrations in Warm Waters. I hope it will spark some imagination for the Fen community. The link is below. Question 3. What were your nine clues? The nine sentences of the poem or the nine different phrases lines in the poem? Can you walk us briefly through your solution? Clues 1 and 2. Begin it where Warm Waters halt and take it in the canyon down, not far but too far to walk. We start our journey by driving to the first clue which is it. Many people are obsessed with warm waters, but I feel they are missing the big picture. The it and the where are what we need to solve, not the warm waters. Also, my anagram told me that the fire hall holds at home, so we're not ready to be boots on the ground until we drive down the canyon and then park below the home of Brown and get in our fishing boat. To break it down, halt can also mean to break off, so the first clues are telling us to look for a tributary of the warm waters. Clue 3. Put in below the home of Brown. I'm old school, so my home of brown is brown trout. However, many people don't know that the term, the home of, actually means a place where someone or something was either discovered, originated, or introduced. When you break the entire clue down, it is asking you to put in below the home of brown, also known as the place where brown trout were first introduced into Yellowstone National Park. I know many people have this solve. I've had it for years. I just didn't realize what I was doing wrong until now. Clue four, from there it's no place for the meek and the end is ever drawing nigh. This is letting you know that your warm waters is coming to an end. Clue five, there'll be no paddle up your creek. Self-explanatory. Clues six and seven, just heavy loads and water high. High water temperature for trout. Clues eight and nine, if you've been wise and found the blaze, look quickly down your quest to cease. But tarry scant with marble gaze, just take the chest and go in peace. This one is the most important. It is the blaze, and this is why you have to find the where in order to start the chase. Darn, this feels good to finally write. Here's a photo of page 99 in the book. Compare that with a photo of the Firehall River, and then let me know what you think. Question 4. Once on location, what was the killer of this solution? Why didn't it work out in the chest found? This solution is still 100% for me. I haven't been able to shake it for five years because it keeps popping back up. The way I see things is a little different in comparison to how other people see things. I mean, I'm the weirdo that found an anagram in the book title. Never let anybody tell you that your solve is overrated or that it isn't a good idea because I've learned the hard way that I'm onto something big and it could have played out a lot differently had I just gone with my gut feeling. Many people are against anagrams, but let me leave you with this thought, imagination. The faculty or action of forming new ideas or images or concepts of external objects not present to the senses. Imagination sure sounds like an anagram to me. Question 5. What are you enjoying most about the chase? Same as before, learning all that I can and becoming a better version of myself because of it. We need to find the lesson behind the chase and I think part of that lesson is making sure we are better people in the long run. Be kind. Do whatever you can to help someone in need because one day they will be gone for good. And question six, is there anything more you would like to add? Yes, like Finn has said, we all play our own small roles in the bigger picture, so we should find some way to leave behind our own footprints that can somehow make a difference in the world, even if that difference only inspires one person. Find your own way to be remembered. 
That was an awesome six questions. A huge thanks to Candy for sharing her thoughts. And thank you for watching and being part of the Mysterious Ratings community. We'll see you next time as we continue to talk about all things treasure.